Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so freaking excited because I have been waiting to film this video for weeks now and I finally have this package in my hands. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, which I 100% recommend you do, it's Karen Harris Makeup. I was ranting and raving about this package being delayed and I'm so flipping excited that it is finally here in my hands. So if you guys are not familiar with this packaging, this is the new Pat McGrath Mothership Eyeshadow Palette Trio. I picked up the bundle on Pat McGrath's website on launch day and these came out on 928 and I just received them and today's date is October 9th. So I've been waiting for these. If you guys know how expensive these palettes are, they are $125 a piece. I have never spent this much money on makeup before. Like on, I guess individually I have because the Natasha Denona palettes are this price, but I've returned one and I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna return the other one, but that's another story for another day. These I cannot return once I swatch because I did check the return policy on the Pat McGrath website, but uh, the bundle is not available on Sephora.com. So you do pay $125 a piece if you want all three on the Sephora website so you'd be paying $375 whereas you can get a discount of $75 if you buy the bundle on the Pat McGrath website so hopefully that kind of explains that for you as to why I bought it on the Pat McGrath website I um, was not impressed though with the delay. I did have to email customer service twice. The first time I just asked them what was going on and they just said they were overwhelmed with orders. The second time, which was last Friday when these launched on Sephora, I was so annoyed because I was like, I could order these from sephora.com and get them here faster. I told them that and I also mentioned that I was a YouTuber and I was planning on filming a review, which I think kind of lit a fire under whoever's ass that I was talking to. So then they they pretty much like put it in the mail for me Friday and they got here today so I, I mean I guess they kind of tried to make the situation better but I feel like when somebody's paying $300 for eyeshadow palettes like you better make sure that they get there and like there's really no excuse in my eyes now these are the first ever Pat McGrath products I ever picked up I was so sad because I didn't really see any PR like videos on this I know Jeffree Star re did receive the palette and I saw a few swatches on his snapchat but I didn't see any videos I tried looking it up on YouTube I didn't see anything all I saw were those kits the eye kits that people have purchased previously I didn't see anything on the eyeshadow palette so I was really really bummed because you're spending so much money and all you have to go off of is the brand's swatches so I was really bummed about that but I finally have these in my hands so I am going to go ahead and swatch these for you now I did get all three because I could not pick Honestly, if I could remake these palettes, I would make myself the perfect one. But since I was attracted to so many different shades in each of these palettes, I was like, fuck it. This is going to be my big purchase of 2017. And so I bought them. Now, this is what the box looks like. It reminds me very much of like Japanese inspired and you can kind of see that in the back here. I do like it. I think it is pretty luxe. I mean, this is like luxury pricing. If you ask me, I mean, you could disagree with me. Uh, but here is the card with all the shades. The packaging is very, very nice. It's very heavy, very nice weight to it. It just says Pat McGrath Labs and it has that gold emboss and it's a nice heavy packaging if I haven't already said that. The back is this nice gold plate and on here it says Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Use with Caution, Shade Throwing and Eye Ecstasy may result with prolonged use. It's made in Italy, distributed by Pat McGrath Cosmetics LLC New York and it has an 18 month shelf life. It's got all the ingredients on here. It looks like there's talc. So if you have a talc allergy, this is not gonna work for you. It says that the net weight per shadow, I believe, is 0 0.053 ounces, if I'm reading that right. I'm gonna talk more about the specs in my review video. Right now, I just wanna get swatches out to you guys in case you've been, you know, thinking about getting this, but you haven't. So this is the first palette. Now, when I see it in person, not as exciting as the 
pictures, like the PR photos. I mean, this blue is really catching my eye right away. There's also this really beautiful duochrome shade there, which actually reminds me a lot of the Huda duochromes. There's a shade called Twilight in the Huda palette, and this one looks very much like it. There's a few mattes. This is definitely more cool tone. So I'm gonna stop blabbering. Oh, also there's a huge mirror in here. It's nice and thick. This is very, very nice packaging. So I'm gonna swatch the first four shades here. I'm just doing a quick little rubby rub rub. These all feel nice and soft so far. So here are the shades for the first palette. Ooh, I really like that gold color. So let me see here what these are called. So the first shade is called Skin Show. Then the next one is called Depth, Ultimate Taupe, and Pale Gold. Pale Gold I think is gonna be so beautiful as a lid shade. I'm so excited for these palettes, you guys. I don't know what it was. I think I had just kind of held off on trying out Pat McGrath because nothing really spoke to me. My friend from Rented Fashion, Kat, she bought all the, uh, the lip sets, and I've seen many reviews of their eye kits, but none of those really spoke to me, like the glitter lip kits, all those kits she came out with, none of that spoke to me. But you guys know I'm a huge eyeshadow palette junkie, so... I don't care how much it costs, if it looks like something I am going to enjoy, apparently I'm going to freaking pick it up. So here are the next four shades. I was definitely right about this duochrome shade. It's called VR Violet. Definitely reminds me of, of that shade Twilight in the Huda palette. Then we have Extreme Black, which looks very pigmented. It's called Lilac Dusk, which is the purpley shade. And then this last shade is called Substance. So let me swatch those for you. Definitely going to need a glitter glue with that twilight shade, but ah, uh, these are so pretty. I think they're swatching really well so far. Obviously, guys, I will test these palettes and bring you a review. I just like to do swatch videos because, like I said, this set of palettes in particular, they're so expensive and I couldn't find swatches to save my life. So hopefully, if you've been debating getting these palettes, you can share with friends and uh, help them out if they're, you know, trying to figure out if these are worth buying. So, last two shades, this is the blue, it's beautiful, it's called Blitz Blue, and then this last shade is called Astray White. And that formula reminds me of the violet shade, um, the VR Violet, but here is that white shade, and this is the blue. So pretty, sorry if it's out of focus, but let me give you guys a minute to just enjoy this color selection. Okay guys, so now we're gonna move on to the palette number two. This one I believe is gonna be the palette that has like the green shades. Again, it's very similar packaging on this box. Um, and then the colors are in this card. So it seems like it's meant to stay in the box, which that's kind of annoying. I wish for $125, they could have put all the names on here. But uh, anyway, this is what this palette looks like. Like I said, a lot of these shades, it's not that I don't have them. Some of them just look so pretty in the swatches. I couldn't decide which one to get, so I had to basically get get all of them, which is ridiculous. But anywho's. <laughs> okay, first shade is called Skin Show Glow. Then we have Copper Toned iconic and bronzed so there they are okay so here is the first shade it's like a it's just like the name it's a skin tone pink then we have copper toned it's like a beautiful muted copper shade then we have iconic which is like a beautiful bronze right there and then this shade called bronze which is basically like a pigment. If you can see that, it's very heavy in glitter. I think you definitely want to use a glitter glue when you're playing with that shadow. Hopefully you guys can see these. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the next four shades. Now I'm already bummed because I can see Extreme Black is a repeat shade in this palette as well. So that's kind of annoying because well, out of your $125 or $300, depending on which bundle you go with, you're getting a repeat shade and I will do the math for that when I do my review, but obviously, you know, you don't need it 
in two palettes if you're gonna buy all three so that is the first swatch and that is nectar it's such a beautiful dual chrome it's like a green to pink dual chrome super stunning here is extreme black again and then we have uh, dark which is like a dark brown these aren't swatching as well why is that is it because I didn't clean my hand off let me try those two again just to make sure so here is the black shade and then this is dark it might be because I've been cleaning my hands between swatches so don't get too worried and then this is rose dusk she's like a beautiful um, I like this color I've seen it in lipsticks but you don't really very often see that in palettes so here are the next four shades in that palette two more to go this iconic green shade called blitz emerald and then we have us a stray ghost orchid which is another like white duochrome type looking shade so let's swatch that and see these ones definitely feel a little bit more gritty um, I'm gonna go right here for these two so the green and the astray ghost shade is basically straight up glitter I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see that but let me try and get some more out of it there you go can you kind of see that so just one more time here are the swatches of the mothership palette number two packaging definitely feels exactly the same as the first one very heavy very luxe as far as the shades i didn't think they were anything honestly that are worth a hundred dollars <laughs> i'm a little bit shocked we'll see um you know how they perform on the eyes but so far I'm not overly impressed by the swatches okay this is the last one this is the mothership 3 again this has like a pink packaging and it also comes with the color card so let's go ahead and open these I haven't actually opened any of these palettes so I'm seeing them for the first time just like you guys are and here are what the shades look like in this palette so if you're into those like purpley tones, you're really probably going to enjoy this one. So I'm going to swatch on this hand, use a nice clean hand. Um, and let's start with Skin Show Fever. Um, I think she put like a light color in all of the palettes, but I already see Extreme Black is in this one. So that is kind of annoying that she did that. Like it's like, okay, we get it. You want all the palettes to have blacks, but that's really annoying and it looks like this brown is a repeat too I believe it's called deep and I think there was another color called deep in one of these palettes now the shade gigabyte is right up my alley you guys if you have been following me for a while you know how much I love a good chartreuse color so these all kind of clump together but again this is skin show fever we have night creature which is a beautiful purple shade deep shade which is the brown and then gigabyte which is that beautiful it's a chartreuse I don't know how else to explain it it kind of has like a smoky vibe to it look at it on my finger like holy guac it's so freaking pretty so love that shade one called VR pink I'm gonna swatch extreme black grin just in case we've got a shade called Lazarus and we have a shade called black metal there we go VR pink is of course like screaming to me oh my god you guys see that it's got the craziest like pink orange shift to it so pretty extreme black Lazarus which is like a brown like satin shade very pretty and then we've got a black metal which is like a gray shade there you go hopefully you guys can see that and then the last two shades I've got to swatch are called Blitz Amethyst and a star astray ghost orchid hope I'm saying that right I don't think I am but my gosh look at this shade are you kidding me so pretty it's like a purple blue you know lovely shade reminds me a little bit of retrograde there it is oh it's not focusing it's focusing on my face 
Hopefully you guys can see that. It's so pretty. So these are all the swatches of the new Pat McGrath palettes. So far, I don't know. I don't think I should have paid the price I paid for these. They aren't like anything, you know, that are so unique to the point of like, you can't find these anywhere. The dual chromes are really pretty, but I think she could have easily condensed this into just a palette of dual chromes. Kind of done what Desi and Katie did because everyone has like a go-to matte black in their collection. Everyone has a go-to deep brown. We didn't really need those shades and it could have been a little bit cheaper if she just made one really nice BAM palette. So because of that, I think it's a little bit overpriced, but like I said, this is not a review. I just wanted to swatch it for you guys. So hopefully this will help you out. I do believe these palettes are all still available on Sephora.com. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Let me know in the comments down below if you will be picking up any of these palettes. Um, let me know if you think I'm crazy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I usually upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.